Good morning, folks. We are going to start by pulling up the orbital diagram for Comet Swift-Tuttle. Some of you may know it is the source of the annual Perseid meteor shower. We pass through the debris tail around this time every year. The bottom right is the date. Meteors should peak around August 12th. Till then, midnight to sunrise is best viewing. After the 12th, best viewing is sunset to midnight. As Mars is set to split Saturn and Spica just after that, there's a strong possibility that some streaking meteors will be visible as well. The area south of Africa took two moderate quakes yesterday. USGS actually upgraded the second one. I know, right? Just as I was telling you about the White Island volcano eruption yesterday, little did I know that an ancient mountain had awakened as well. Chile had a moderate quake along with one in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and a mass fish die-off happened in my hometown of Columbus. Forget Florence, she's toast. Ernesto looks like he's going to stay south of the U.S. and cut over Mexico. What's funny, as you watch Ernesto creeping in, is the emails have now changed from they're trying to kill us with Ernesto to they're trying to keep Ernesto from ending the drought. I've said it before, no matter what happens, some people will think it's evil. Major heat wave, it's more than Bulgaria, Romania as well, this whole region. South Korea having power issues trying to cool their country and their heat. Will it ever stop raining in China? This typhoon is in no hurry. The F1 layer critical frequency spiked last night. Most of you should know that the D region is anomalous with noctilucent clouds, but the F1 layer is juiced as well. They began these readings in 1999. You'll notice a patterned curve going up last solar max, back down during the extra long solar minimum, and then doing things it shouldn't be doing. Looks like we're starting that again this year. The filament. She destabilized again yesterday, but did not fire away completely, and is rematerializing again. You can see a compact CME headed out of this direction. The endless spiral actually shows a chance for a glancing blow, which I would not have guessed from the Lasco images. The dark spot behind the filament is a tiny coronal hole that will push strong solar wind in a few days. On the left, you see bright regions turning over the north and south. Down south, it's fairly complex magnetics, and this is the one that has gone off so far. Up north, however, we should pay attention to this bisected umbra that could be a giant delta spot. Got about a day before we see her fully. Nothing major happening in the solar wind. We are awaiting a glancing blow from a CME sometime today from this filament's first eruption. You can watch the Ovation Prime as well to see an impact. It's on the ISWA link in the info box. Have some fun. Eyes open. And be safe.